Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting club again. The cast from your host, Imperial Dane. It is time for the Sunday challenge. And I got only three replays this time around, and one of them was a free versus free, which you don't really cast, and another one was a last week's challenge, which pretty much leaves me with only one. On the other hand, that one's actually pretty interesting, actually adds in some things from the previous challenges, almost, so in this case I'm a bit lenient, in fact I'm going to say I'm going to keep on with the challenges, although again I feel a bit disappointed that so few people are sending in replays. With for the challenges at all, and the excuse pretty much tend to be, you know, well, your challenges are, you know, challenging. Well, really, I mean, I thought, you know, that the point of a challenging was to challenge people, not just tell them to eat a bloody muffin, or the equivalent of doing that. Anyways, we've got OMG Cartman, we'll just be calling Eric, fighting for the Germans, fighting for the 320th Infantry Division, going up against Hagen, of the Soviet Union. Fighting for the 110th Rifle Division. Points being secured. And this causes the Sunday Strafniki Challenge. Straf, but challenge. That is, penal troops are the focus here. At least the requirement was some interesting use, or at least good use, of penal troops. We have a fresh grenadier squad. Not necessarily they actually won. Anyways, conscripts moving up here, pioneers moving in there, that's definitely not going to be a good engagement for the pioneers. We're in fact noting here that Eric is spreading out a bit awfully much across the map, a bit of dangerous work there. Could be rolling him home to a nice punch from the Soviets initially, if he's not too careful. Looks like the company is receiving a bit of support from a conscript call down south. Screwing the point here, pioneers doing what they can to keep the Bolsheviks at bay. And another squad of Canadiers, MG42 following up, so far pretty much standard stuff. Nothing deeply out of the ordinary. Holding up here behind an old tractor. And there we go, initial engagement down south as well. Combat engineers versus the grenadiers. Conscripts quickly rushing up. And a quick combat engineer death. Then it is much soon actually run into some trouble as the conscripts move in. Another combat engineer drops dead. Staying at range here to deal with the pioneers. Safely and well done. And they're going to go this time south. Quickly pull back. Eric right here realizing the situation is perhaps not looking too good. And decides to leg it. Another squad of conscripts arriving for Hagen. Combat engineers making it the devil out of there. And MD42 up. Taking up position in the central farmhouse, or at least the one covering the victory point. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Bit of a poor position here, I mean he's pretty much setting himself up to be flanked. Again, cover is directional, meaning you have to be on the right side, you know, for it to absorb the bullets. This here is, in fact, a bit of a silly move by Eric. Might have been a misclick, or he's not quite paying attention, who knows, but definitely not the way to use cover. Let's just put it like that, and there we go, Eric realises the mistake he made, but it's too late now much too late. And we are seeing the special rifle command going up. And we're seeing a sniper out. So looks like the two gun Liam MG sniper build for Eric. Uh, something that has made a bit of return from the first company of heroes. Noted for not really being able of good of holding ground but on the other hand being able to lay down a lot of damage and really taking a toll on an advancing opponent. How can we help? He could also consider sending up some life to machine in Gewehren, increasing his firepower. And there we go, the sniper is out. Scharfschützer. Victory point secured. Special rifle command done. Flame throws up. North slightly abandoned, but overall so far we're already seeing here that Hagen is laying down some good map control. Gaining a nice chunk of the map. And dominating. So far anyways. And scout cars appearing right here. No penal troops as of yet. Conscripts pushing up south, little pressure in the north. So far, so quiet. Also, known in Core Stockton's Jaeger Armor, Joint Operations, Assault Support. And for Hagen, Gart Motor, Conscript Support, and Terror Tactics. Fun, fun. 
Alternating here some mines. Good job. Good and Arbeit. Pioneers up here. Decently aggressive play, although a bit of cooldown here from Hagen. Although looks like he might be doing something soon. Combat units into the scout car, and there we go. Squad of penal troops. Looks like another assault is being sent in. Pushing carefully though with the scout car, he's not trying to get too close to the grenadiers. Well done, well done. Country from we got from the cent south. Flanking the MG42, well done, well done. Scout car pulling, he might in fact be trying to lure the grenadiers into the mine. Clever, clever, really clever. Oh, looks like Eric here got a bit too cautious. He pulled too far, no, oh, pulled back too quickly, thus removing the feeling that the grenadiers could actually pull it off. Close and actually baiting into the mine, but not quite there yet. Also mining up the north, pretty aggressive mining, in fact, within the comfort zone of his opponent. Cheeky, cheeky, but well done. Penal troops making it into the other scout car. Scout car now, in fact, rushing in. Looks like he decided to throw all caution to the wind. Panzerfaust knocks us out. Most of the engineers make it out there alive. That was bloody lucky. Conscript score. Oh, well, one conscript holding up on the inside of the house. There go penal troops advancing up as well. Canadiers nearby. And Panzerfaust. Well, there we go. Flame throws on the penal troops as well. Damn close. And Sniper gets it! Sniper gets it! Combat engineers will need to get out of there very soon. Fall back. And there we go, the Shrafniki. Moving ahead. One down. And there we go. Doing a bit more damage. Penal troops being rather... Able to lay down a lot of damage to the semi-automatic rifle, of course, the flame for adding in. And we're seeing two snipers out for Eric right here. Interesting. Bit of a heavy tier one then. No taking up so far. He apparently looks to be really trying to drain his opponent out of manpower that way. Looks like the snipers are having a discussion. Yeah. Just look at my uniform. It's so sexy. Yeah. Something like that. A nice little trick of mining up here, nice little choke point. Again, close to his opponent, so again, the opponent might not be f paying full attention, of course, expecting this. Bunker, bunker set up, medic bunk up, and another bunker up. So, looks like Eric is going to be setting up a fortified position, a shrap punk by the center. Maybe he'll be focusing all of his defensive efforts. Not a bad idea, but he needs to regain some ground, though. And upgrading this for what? Has been to an Command post? The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Half scout car almost repaired. Can't keep running into sniper issues. Canadiers, pioneers following up. Is now and, can be found. and there we go. Has been improved. We can now build light we are losing the sector. Sniper in the scout car. And there it goes running straight into the S mines, although not something too catastrophic damage, still some nasty. Reporting sector capture. Sharp shot, sir. Bit of quiet here. Heads down! And there we go. Trying to rush in with the scout car, but looks like no luck in quite hitting any of the enemy snipers. Bit of dancing around here. MD42 setting up the church. Interesting positioning. Still dominating most of the map at the moment. And taking up finally done for Eric. But still quiet, quiet. Still on the other hand, of course, at the same time the server player is making some progress again. And actually meaning that Eric is not actually holding off territory on that something that Eric needs to rectify. He might consider getting some more infantry or they like to make a nice company going up now. Conscripts down south, going to encounter the grenadiers. They're going to be a bit outnumbered, except the grenadiers split up. Bit of a poor move there from Eric. Scout continuing up here, conscripts following up in the wake, taking points. Yes. Our lines of supply are disrupted. And perhaps trying to hunt down the snipers with the scout car, but no much luck. 
would like to make a nice company is up for the 3 and 10th Infantry Division. Scout cars rushing in. Grenadiers in trouble, and there we go, retreating. Panzerfaust that goes off on the scout car. Chenier scout on territory, these units might want to move down. Sniper here, though, could also do with retreating and getting reinforced. And what is this? Another squad of penal troops with their SVT 40, semi automatic rifles. And the advantage, of course, of the penal troops is they are able to lay down a lot of fire with their semi automatic rifles. And of course, combine that with once they get veteran 2, they can actually become quite lethal. Your people do seem to, for their reasons, underestimate him. Also noting he's actually using his conscript to reinforce the squads. Of course, they get the same weapons. And of course, actually cheaper to reinforce that way. So clever work there with Hagen actually using his conscripts to support his penal troops. Keeping costs down. Well done. Well played. In fact, clever. Scout crap upgrading with auto cannons right away. And of course, after the latest patch, won't be a downgrade. So well done there as well. Certainly with all the enemy scout cars, it's going to be a good payoff. Second penal troop squad moving up. Continuing to lay down a firm grasp of iron. And Eric really needs to break out of this, but pulling out to Hagen. Who's going conscripts caught. There we go, scout car advancing. Sniper retreating. Penal troops might want to pop down a satchel charge at the advancing horde. Instead he retreats after having dropped one and getting off a nice chunk of kills there. Clearly he was a bit too worried about the two snipers all the other thing and pull back. But there we go. Scoutcast playing about getting one from the snipers. Well done, well done. Might even get another sniper. No. Yes, they got both snipers. Well done, well done, Hagen. Nice flank assault there using the scout cards and the penal troops inside. Well done. Other scout car moving up. MG42 though in the church running out supporting fire. Doing what he can there. And a pack 40 is up. Panzer up there, Canone supporting the infantry division. And another satchel charge is likely going to see if he can't clear out that bunker. Not quite there, but ultimately still did a lot of damage. And the loss of the two snipers will be hurt. Felt by the Germans. Also noting our submachine guns upgrading for the conscript squads. Also noting he will very soon be able to use rapid conscription. At least have it unlocked. Question is, of course, will he actually utilize it? Squad ready. Sniper standing by. You want you a need sniper? a suicide squad waiting for your command. And then you're in fact again merging, constantly merging conscripts for the penal squads. Well done, well done. Very nice, consistent use of that. Lovely, in fact. Still putting up some good aggressive infantry play, keeping his opponent contained, and again, that's a bit the problem with the sort of playstyle that Eric has. He's actually losing a lot of ground. He's not really gaining ground. I mean, it's too static. He needs some more infantry or something else to really push forwards. Penal troops making the advantage up here against the Grenadiers. Flamethrowers handing in a bit of good fun. Another penal squad getting stopped here by the MG42. Gunner these slowly being pushed away in the north. Hitting the dirt. Snipers doing what they can. If the penal troops were to move down. And there we go, veterans one for one squad. Good progress here down south. Eric pushing down some grenades to try and put some harassment there as well while most of the forces occupied with the center. And there we go, scout car rolling up. No anti tank grenades. Ooh. Instead, we are seeing the mechanized armor company up. Conscripts in trouble. And a second MG42 up for Eric. And there we go. Mine goes off, almost wiping out an entire squad of grenadiers. Definitely worth the cost. Counter attack moving in. And there we go. Rapid conscription. You'd almost think he was trying to go for as many challenges as possible since last week's was about either relief infantry or rapid conscription. Sadly the rapid conscription part seems to be ignored, but still. Well done. Actually using the ability. Penal troops attack from north trying to do something. Not quite having any luck. Taking a lot of fire, a lot of machine gun fire since he's attacking down neck to cover, which does mean they will be quite exposed. 
Sniper team doing what I can. Losses are being inflicted rather severely on Eric and there we go, first conscript squad reformed. Oh! That was bloody close, bloody close. Comedies might want to get out of there. And will there be another squad of conscripts? Yes, there we go, merging again. So quickly and cheaply getting cut penal troops back that way. Good to see, in fact. And that's basically a 10 manpower save he's gaining on that. So that's also good economics. Since that's pretty much, well, 50 munitions that can be used to slice on something else. And the ability is still functional to attack up here. Bit too broad assault. He might want to send one squad up here up in the north, but. That is another matter. We are seeing that the German players make some advance now, pushing up through the center, dividing the north from the south, the east from the west, more specifically the Serb player from his resources. Sniper moving up to support. That's definitely going to see if we can't break the tide. And another squad of conscripts reformed. Thus, rapid conscription has paid itself off. Can't go charging up here. No Molotovs. We are seeing anti tank grenades though. And Scout car supporting the north. Man to force away the Soviets. Troops here too close. Hagen making a bit of a reckless move. Not really good. Not really good. Force retreat. He can probably lose the conscript squad there. Reckless. And there goes the 76 opening up with its barrage ability. And Scout car in fact could be in trouble from the issue 76 if it's not too careful. But quickly retreats. Still, sizable infantry force now, even with the losses incurred, rapid conscription does pay itself off if you know how to utilize and when to utilize it. Of course, combine that with some good usage of the merge ability as well. I mean, I really like that. It's a rarely used ability, but again, you can actually save you a lot of resources and still keep a troop unit combat worthy. Or at least, actually, in some cases, if it's too dangerous to retreat it, you can use it sort of give it, get it back up to something where it's safe to retreat. So lovely work. Though at the same time, I mean, he's making a bit, you know, too reckless head on assaults, not really trying to flank or anything like that, which does limit the effectiveness of them. Though that would pretty much apply to most infantry units. Aggressive play, and in fact. Eric going for more snipers, not more infantry. I can't help but feel that's a mistake. I also would like to see some light machine guns for the Grenadiers. In fact, two snipers again. Eric being rather intent on that. Could be to advantage, could also be to the disadvantage as they are expensive that way. Larger sword going up here, MD42. Two squads carrying up the attention again, a bit reckless, but we'll be hitting with two other squads from the flank, so that's better, much better. And it looks like, in fact, the MD42 could be cleared out. Yes, in fact. Bit of a poor move here by Eric. Poorly positioned and quickly wiped out. Snipers that are quick to add in a bit of danger to the situation once more. And the HSN6 can bombard again if it so desires. And of course we got this MD-42 which can be crewed. Snipers moving up there, penalty is quickly suffering. MD-42 are firing up and rifle grenade needs to pull back from there. We'll just get the HS-76 up to move up to artillery. Still nice chunk of units at the moment, although we'll need to preserve it nonetheless. And assume to have a veteran C3 scout guy here for Eric. And it's an alter note, he's not tech up at all. No armor as of yet. No armor as of yet. But well, there we go, the HS-76 is actually moving up to support. And there we go, light barrage. 
Not entirely sure what he's trying to achieve here. Looks like he might be trying to get the command bunker, but... Seems a bit less clear. And AC-76 in rather dire straits, although gets off a nice hit there on two Canadiers, wiping them out. And some, oh, sneaky player from the snipers, oh, getting into the building right next to it, perhaps having to get one of the snipers. No luck, no luck. Still, oh, there we go. Squad merged, again. Consistent use of the ability, well done, well done. Certainly like some clever usage of such things. And time for the mid-game analysis. Current situation is the Soviets are still largely dominating the map. Although we are seeing that Eric is stepping up his game. At the same time though, Eric is rather hampered by the fact that he doesn't really have a lot of offensive troops. He's only got two squadrons from two, which does to a certain extent limit his offensive capabilities. Simply the snipers and all that really can't carry the weight for that much long. In particular, I mean if they get flanked. I mean, as we saw the two previous snipers, they're gone, and that's pretty much a huge investment gone in a blink of an eye. He's got the S German scout here upgrade, which is definitely going to be a huge problem for Mr. Hagen for some time. So of course, there's that, but that's otherwise really what there is. Of course, we are now seeing a pack 43, and considering he's only read, I think it was Joint Strike Doctrine. Of course, also means he's, well, got that, obviously. Which also means he's not utilizing the artillery officer, which, again, I do feel is always a bit of a shame, as he does add something if he can use him cleverly. Still, what he needs to get is some more infantry. I mean, if he's going to keep playing in this sort of tier 1, tier 2, with some support from Pack 43, he's dealing with heavy armor, that's great, but he needs more infantry, otherwise it's not going to work in the long run, because it's going to be too much support units, too much units are going to be too vulnerable to things like the Asian 76, or say something like the Incendio Artillery Barrage, or who, oh, I don't know, something like Hattusha. I mean, it's either that, or he gets some armor, because the current otherwise force he has is too much of an easy target to artillery. For Hagen, of course, it's about keeping up the pressure. It might, in fact, get be a time to get this Katrusha up, for example, to bombard his opponent. Although, at the same time, there is a considerable gap which he might want to consider covering with a single issue to And that, of course, is the fact that if his opponent does rush for some armor of some kind, he's going to be a bit of a tr problematic spot because he's only really got the Asian 6 to properly do some damage besides anti tank grenades and some improvised anti tank messages in the form of satchel charges. So. He's in a slightly dire situation, and an SU-85 would be one of the quicker ways of basically sorting that one out. Otherwise, basically keep pressure and keep see if he can't sneak up towards here or here, try and hit his opponents more in the back force. Mister Eric or Cartman, whatever, so we you know spread out a bit more, thus making things overall easier. Because currently, the way that Hagen is playing is also allowing Eric to pretty much focus everything around here, which does allow Eric a much better chance of basically running a defense that favors him, which is usually what you don't want to happen. Although, at the same time, the sheer proximity of things, the closer they are, does make it easy for artillery as well. So, in many senses, I mean, he needs to shift out towards something a bit more mobile, even if that just remains infantry, it needs to be more mobile in that sense. He also needs some light machine guns for his gun ideas to provide more firepower for them offensively and defensively. But let's pop back to the Germans, let's return to the fight. And he's certainly not quite getting the same force. Penal is advancing up here, taking heavy fire. Scout car here though in a nasty situation. And there we go, Panzer Abwehr Kanone, 43 up. House holding up, small force down here, could try and move up here, provide some pressure in the south further. Going for the colour point up here in the north, splendid work, but coming under fire from Nation 6, MD42, penal troops and whatnot. And the penal troops in the house doing what they can. Killing some pack crew members. Aggressively here going for every cut off point he can, but incendiary artillery. No, light artillery barrage. Ooh, so much artillery at the moment. There we go. Forcing away from the cut off point, but it's too late. And there we go. Light artillery barrage in return up north. Also, hang on. What was that? That looks a bit unusual. Let me just pause here. By Jove. 
Somehow there seems to have been a slip up here. I'm not think it might be a mistake, but apparently some of the pe conscripts who carried over actually carried over the submachine guns to the penal troops. That's interesting. Not sure if that's intended or a bug. Conscript flying down south, rifle grenades flying left and right. SU-76 in dire need repairs though. But still not really getting the match out of the penal troops again. It's very much, you know, head on assault. More specifically, head on assault through negative cover. Very little use of cover with the penal troops all in all. I mean, it's not necessarily the best usage of them he's making. And which does seem to lead to some high casualties without doing that much damage, which is a bit of a shame. And looks like, oh, what a little fire here. Got one of the snipers again. Pack 43, or Pack 40 being pushed away. More bunkers being set up. And there we go, continued harassment. Would be nice to see some mines for Hagen f around this spot. But no such luck, and sadly doesn't seem like Mr. Eric has bothered with further mines after that one spot there. Bit disappointing that. And the penal troops with the submachine guns. Definitely a bit other than usual, and there we go, Katusha arriving. And immediately firing away. And the bunker is the target. The bunker, on the other hand, also noted it has not been upgraded at the moment. Combination again, and there we go, another rapid conscription bout up. And uh, another conscript squad merged with the penal troops. Enemy forces are securing our territory. And back to regular SBT 40s. But this one on the other hand still has the submachine gun. We have a forward structure under attack. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Slow advance. And another barrage, and there we go, bunker down. Assault into the north, pack 40 leading the way. That seems a bit reckless to be honest. Eric must be getting pressured again, that's the lack of infantry speaking for him. And a direct barrage straight on towards the center positions. Pack 43 is in danger, including the bunker and the nearby machine gun as well. S-85 up as well, just in case any armor appears. Well done, well done. Not really doing much with this rapid conscription at the moment. Feels a bit of a shame. Oh, Scout Cut Vance is going in aggressively, but of course it's on the way of the S-85. Will the S-85 deal with this? Come on, Hagen, you've got a nice scout car here as a target. And this house is about to collapse. And of course, we're now again noting the sniper's simply being forced to take territory again. That rather highlights the desperate situation of Eric here because he's lacking infantry. Straight assault up here, but running into a lot of issues, a lot of casualties. Not the best of assaults, in fact, getting caught between two heavy machine guns. They'll quickly follow up with a Katusha Barrage again. Oh, nice hit on the MG42, nice hit. Almost winding out the entire crew. Hagen though needs to keep up the pressure. MG element ready. Fire. 
There we go, penal troops coming in from the north. MD-42 covering the north. Oh, we actually moved it right at the wrong time, allowing the penal troops to get close. In this case, the conscript penal troops. And of course, still equipped with some submachine guns, a mix of submachine guns and SVT-40s, basically heavily equipped with the automatics. And there you go, start to charge off. And there you go, pack down, pack down. Bold, aggressive attack, although might lose the entire squad of penal troops, but no, no. Action makes it out there. Veterans need to up, by the way, which definitely increases their lethality as it makes them more accurate, but also gives them a slight damage reduction. A second Katusha arriving. 210th Rifle Division getting a lot of rocket artillery in now. Another barrage towards the centre. Units clumped up again. That's the sort of thing you have to be careful about. Heavy barraging, in fact, going on. Pack 40 decrewed. Troops moving in, they need to be careful. Ready. Looks like the barraging has stopped for the moment. Veteran T2. Eric is still being rather pressured again. He's lacking the force that can push forward. So looks like he's now getting himself a howitzer. He likes the felt how bitch and the desperate hope that he might be able to break through the Bolshevik stranglehold. And there we go, the HS-76 firing again. MD-42 abandoning the premises. Oh, direct hit, almost running out the entire squad and giving the HS-76 veteran T2. Lovely that, and certainly that was also part of, you know, Sunday challenge, you know, using the HS-76 on that sense. I mean, if he hadn't gone for the HS-85, I would almost say he was trying to go for a triple challenge. Definitely using a lot of things I rarely to use. That's great. That's good and certainly gives me hope for future Sunday challenges. So there will in fact be one for next week. But we'll talk about that after this match is over. Pimps was advancing a bit reckless, a bit reckless again. I mean, you don't just move them out like that. That just makes them an easy target for the opponent and easily wiped out. Which really doesn't work out much for them. Same here, MG42 quickly stops it down. Conscripts advancing, and Light Artillery Barrage going down to, to take the cut-off point here, to starve his opponent of resources. But the Conscripts do not care, it seems. And the Houser does get up, but time to push over to Hagen again. Oh, MD-42 shifted, but apparently forgot about the penal troops who continue their relentless hunt for the fascists. And there we go, hitting the MD-42 as the conscripts of snipers down here run into a lot of problems. And a satchel charge. Oh, Hagen, you bastard, wiping it out. It looks like some counter to the battle straight against the Katushas. Oh, direct hit, knocking it out, but still managed to fire one part of the barrage. More rockets towards the center. Pioneers, well, and the pack 43 takes a direct hit. Again, simply too close. Right here, making them too easy targets for artillery. Barely anything left holding the center. In fact, barely anything left at all for him. Yes, comrade. Same throw standing by. Tank destroyer here. Fresh meat has arrived. Da. You need a suicide squad. Bit of quiet again. Squad. Penal troops once more. Why shouldn't I be? Formed back. I mean, merged with conscripts. You have a use for these hmm. Well, I think 
Almost only seems to have the bit with the machine guns if all the original members are wiped out. Whereas with this one there, no submachine guns, only SVT forges and the flamethrowers. So maybe that's what's happening, I don't know. But it's only a theory. Lots of rockets. Grizz will move towards north by Eric in a desperate attempt to stall the enemy advance. We have an isolated sector. Penal troops have secured the sector. Continue quiet. Another pack forty three being set down here. Now he's getting a bit desperate. The overall strategy being quite nice, but the execution lacking a bit in some fundamentals. Oh dear, Stafni getting pinned by an MD42 straight in front of it, but we do see the Katrusha going in to take the southern victory point. Nice direct hit on the MD42. Pack 43 wide. Oh! Good lord, Howard's a crew also dead. Things are definitely getting a bit dangerous. And looks like the sniper will be wiped out by the veterans of free combat engineers. Or the veterans of free combat. No, he retreats, he retreats. Does seem like though that Hagen does have a tendency of getting slightly passive at times, which could perhaps rectify it with some more aggressive play. Speeding things up a bit since that barely anything is happening. I mean, at this stage, the German player's pretty much been crippled. And he's pretty much had the thing that was holding everything together ripped out. And making a run for the Howard's up, but I would say it's too late. <laughs> And there we go, game over, that's for today, Sunday challenge, nicely played, nice use of rap conscription, penal troops were not as well utilised as it could have been again, it was very much, you know, just head on assault, which, you know, rather had a lot of them killed for no reason. Also nice to see the issue, he's using actually doing some damage with it, bombarding and hitting the right spots. Overall he could have been more aggressive, he could have used mines a bit more at certain parts, he wasn't going to be using as much for troops in. I would like to say, have said, HD5 could probably also have been out a bit earlier, but overall, I mean, he made full usage of his structure, more or less, except the conscript repair kits. The German player went for an intriguing strategy, you know, tier 1, tier 2, lots of infantry, lots, and using the joint strike doctrine to basically keep things without any armor out at all, pack 43s, how it says. But the thing was, he was lacking in infantry, it was much too of a static strategy, it was too much relying on basically one strong point, which could easily be neutralized with sufficient artillery and that was rather the mistake that was made he didn't get enough forces for actually attacking that is enough grenadiers with like machine guns and possibly an artillery field officer to bag it up had he done so things probably looked a bit different in particular if he'd also got a single squad of panzer grenadiers with punches rex then he probably could have won this but that sadly did not happen instead soviet play triumphed through some overall more aggressive use of the entire doctrinal spectrum and of course you know also good usage of actually merging the conscript squads with the penal troops which again is ultimately cheaper in the long run so there you go hope you enjoyed this match hope you enjoyed this challenge and of course for next week's challenge I figure why not try and figure out something with the German ambush ability yes indeed that is either Jaeger infantry or storm doctrine you use the ambush ability also of course the better if you actually use the rest of the doctrine as well bonus points for also using stooks and other things from previous challenges if applicable of course but in this case ambush I have thought you know about using something like say focusing a specific doctor but that would also only mean I could really only use the ones that are not you know DLC specific otherwise I mean I'd actually have to force people to f pay out further to activate tables to type partner challenge and I doesn't don't feel that's quite right so 
German Ambush Ability, Mark Replay, Sunday Ambush Challenge, and of course the replay itself, the email, and of course, you know, let's try and get more than one or two replays next week. And again, remember, it's supposed to be a challenge, which means it's supposed to be challenging, and it's not supposed to be something easy for you to just do. So, there you go. Hope to see you next week with another challenge.